हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द वेलकम टू द टुडे क्लास द टुडे क्लास अबाउट द केमिकल एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द कीमोजनी इन द केमिकल एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द कीमोजनी द फोर स्टेप्स इज देयर इन दैट द वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट वन इज एटॉमिक फेज द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज एटॉमिक फेज द सेकंड वन इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ of simple molecules simple molecules the second the third step is the formation of simple organic molecules the next the fourth step is the formation of complex the complex uh, organic molecule complex organic uh, molecules so like this the four steps is there the first one is atomic phase the formation of simple molecule forming of simple organic molecule the third one is simple complex organic molecule the three the four steps are there in the chemical the evolution data in that the one by one you know the formation of the uh, origin of the life is start with the chemical process now it is end with the the biological process in that the first step is the atomic phase in that atomic phase what are there in the early earth had the the following atoms so like there is i mean the carbon nitrogen hydrogen phosphorus 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 the next sulfur so etc so like this these atoms are there in early earth that these atoms are helpful to the the formation of protoplasm it is helpful to the the formation of the protoplasm which uh, this all the molecules this is completed the first step the next the second step is uh, the formation of the formation of simple molecules simple molecules see that the formation of in simple molecules here the one by one here the, the carbon is there the carbon is combined with the oxygen then form the the carbon dioxide the next uh, the nitrogen is combined with the hydrogen hydrogen to form the water to arrange the means like uh, to ammonia to ammonia to formation of the ammonia to hydrogen is combined with the oxygen to form the the water and the carbon is combined with the hydrogen carbon is combined with the hydrogen then form the methane to form the what the methane molecules in which uh, the this all are the carbon dioxide ammonia then we can take the water then uh, the methane this all are the what the simple molecules the simple molecule is originated from the which uh, the atoms this carbon atom hydrogen atom nitrogen hydrogen so like these atoms together they form the simple molecules so according to the this the first simple molecule on earth the may be which was that simple the first molecule the simple molecule on earth the water and uh, ammonia according to the now present so which the water is ammonia is uh, the first simple molecule on the earth the next stage is that we are going to discuss about that simple complex molecules the which the formation of simple organic molecule the second one is the formation of simple molecules the number of the simple molecules are together then form the simple organic molecule that is a simple molecule here the simple organic molecules the number of the simple organic molecules together then form the following simple uh, simple molecules together they form the simple organic molecules like uh, the simple sugars it is as a 
simple organic molecule the nitrogen bases the amino acids the these are all are the fatty acids this is the what uh, the simple molecules these simple molecules are simple molecules together then form the what the simple sugar is there how to form the this uh, the simple sugar the simple sugar is uh, the formed uh, which one that simple sugar ribose deoxy ribose ribose and deoxy ribose sugar right that the nitrogen bases which one is the nitrogen bases the purines and uh, pyrimidines the purines and the pyrimidines the amino acid then then forming the uh, organic molecules of simple that is the proteins the glycerol and the fatty acids of the simple organ the simple molecule then form the simple organic molecules that about the fatty acids this is about the simple molecule the simple molecule become a simple organic molecules like simple sugar become a ribose and deoxyribose like this the nitrogen bases become a the purine side nitrogen bases to having the word the purines and pyrimidines amino acids are the proteins it is a number of proteins the glycerol and fatty acid is the fatty acid that then after that what happened due to the rain what is happening that the, the total the rain water is going to together the rain water going to together the different area rain water is together then form the oceans then form the what the oceans in that oceans so what is there in the oceanic water to present the, the following chemicals to present the what the following chemicals which one oceanic water oceanic water it is present the, the following chemicals so like that which one ammonia nh3 then again ch4 nothing but the methane next it is a, it is about the ammonia it is the next uh, what is carboids or or boids the next what the last is the nitrites nitrites this all are the present in oceanic water which is accumulation of the due to the rain which the ammonia the methane the carboids the nitrates are are present in the oceanic water then after the present in this uh, what is happening that this all are the one by one is combined together then form the the following uh, molecules what are that uh, the following molecules we are going to write that following molecules molecule first you can take that ch4 plus the co2 plus h2o together then form the water sugar plus glyso glycerol uh, glucose glucose plus fatty acids which the methane the carbon dioxide and hydrogen together to form the sugar glucose and fatty acids then after that uh, hcl hydrogen cyanide and water and uh, methane and na ammonia ammonia together then to form the water the purines purines and uh, pyrimidines purines and pyrimidines simple here the uh, one mnemonic i want to say here uh, hydrogen cyanide h means water c means methane n means ammonia I mean in this for only remember with this all will get then to form the what the purines and the, the pyrimidines then after that then after that uh, now the ammonia now ammonia the next is the uh, hcl hydrogen cyanide plus co2 plus uh, next uh, h2o together then form the what amino amino acid together to form the what amino acids means here the methane this is the methane 
this is the hydrogen cyanide cyanide and carbon dioxide and water together to form the amino acids this all are the, are the simple organic molecules this all the simple organic molecules how it is available in the form of like a soup like a soup this soup this soup is called as hot dilute soup what we call hot dilute soup who said this this is hot dilute soup jb halden halden he said this is called as halden he said that uh, the word of the hot dilute soup is given by the halden this is a very important the previous entrance examination question also this things are the formation of the simple organic molecules this this all those things then after that next we are going to discuss about the uh, the formation of simple uh, formation of complex of organic molecules now we discuss about the complex organic molecules in this formation of complex organic molecules in this the complex organic molecule this is about the last phase in this phase there is a need of energy from the ultraviolet rays means electric charges electronic charges are taken from the which so uv rays or ultraviolet rays ultraviolet rays it is as a the recharge the energy source of the the formation of which so atp and polypeptide polypeptide chains then formation of rna and uh, the dna this all are the energy source for the electric recharge from the ultraviolet rays in this phase what has are what happened that which is the simple molecules is there the simple molecules are together then form the, the complex of molecules complex molecule enduring the high temperature that See that in the complex molecule, for example, you can take the amino acids, amino acid plus amino acid. It is a simple organic molecule. Then form the proteins. Then form the what? The proteins. Means this is the end product of the proteins. Now we can take the glucose. Now we can take the glucose and and glucose to form the what carbohydrates then form the carbohydrates next fatty acid fatty next is the fatty acid and glycerol together to form the the fats together to form the what next is the the fats only then after that the nitrogen means here the glucose instead of we are taking the sugar also no problem here also you can take the sugar also then after that the nitrogen bases which is the the nitrogen bases means the nitrogen base base it uh, means nucleotides how uh, from that nitrogen bases comma uh, phosphates and sugars together to form the nucleo nucleo types that form the what the nucleo types and uh, then after that nucleo types plus nucleosides nucleosides together to form the nucleic acids to form the one the nucleic acids see here that the ammonia and ammonia together to form the complex molecule that is a protein the glucose and glucose are the sugar and sugar to form the carbohydrates or we can take this only polysaccharides polysaccharides then fatty acids and glycerol then to form the fats nitrogen bases and phosphate and sugar called as nucleotides if here the sugar is absent it is called nucleosides nucleotides and nucleosides together to form the nucleic acid like dna and 
RNA. For formation of the DNA, one of the uh, historical event of to form a formation of DNA for origin of the life. Now this is the chemical evolution. The next video we are going to discuss about the Stanley Miller experiment. Thank you, one and all.